Testing, testing.
Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to extend a warm greetings to everyone. My name is Lunati Chaingwe, and please, can everyone please respect the barriers before the game starts? It's for your own safety, please. Welcome everyone, welcome to Westring High School, good afternoon, it's a beautiful day today, my name is Lunati Chaingwe, I'll be one of the voices bringing you the game live today on stream, and I'm not alone today, my co-commentator is and we'll be the two voices bringing you the game live today. Today it's a very beautiful day. We have our home side, Western High School versus Andrew Robbie. How do you feel, Masa? I feel perfect today. Um, feel? It's a good weather to be out here watching rugby today. How do you feel, man? I'm good, man. And I feel very excited. I mean, everyone's excited. It's a good day. The atmosphere is great. The crowd's on. I mean, they're cheering up their boys. And how do you think, do you think it's going to be the Western, uh, the Western side or, I mean, the Andrew Robbie side taking the W today? Well, the match hasn't begun, so we can't be quite sure, man. Um, Western boys seem like they have the spirit. They brought it with them today, and it seems promising on their side. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, man. They're cheering me up. You know, I, f I feel like I'm going to be on that field, you know, with that, <laughs> with that spirit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, good hopes, bro. Andrew Robbie seems like he's keeping it calm, cool, and collected today. And I'm sure both teams are looking to get a victory today on this Galvin Acres field on the turf of Western High School. It's going to be those Western boys coming up with their war cry for today. I mean, they seem quite cheered up. We have everyone here. We have parents. We have old scholars. I mean, the Western learners have also come out in numbers. Everyone's here. And all the focus just here for the Western side is going to be that man, Lamiel Kramer. Westring kicking off into Andrew Robbie Turf. This is the way today's game is going to begin. And we're not sure how it is going to end. If we look at the, the startup, there seems to be quite a bit of a change on the startup. Balls up in the air. Game is started. And it's going to be a line out for the Westring side. It's going to be that man, Litemba Ntenge, to feed his b the ball into his line-out, hoping to get the, the victory. We see the Westring back line, you know, having quite a bit of a formation. Um, Westring plays the ball wide to try to play a part, but they fumble the ball. And Robbie gains possession of the ball, and they take it to Iraq. And Robbie plays hands to the far side of the field. They also somehow fumble the ball, and Westring is right on them to get the ball. Referee calls an advantage to Andrew Robbie because first knock was by Westring High School. The ref calls it. We're going to have a scrum now for to the Andrew Robbie side. And now it will be this man, Luke Aries, for the field for our first scrum today. See the boys quite lining up nicely for the scrum over there. Ref's just having a bit of a chat with him. You know, just to give them a guideline to, you know, the basic rules of the sport. And it's going to be that man, Luke Eris, to feed the ball into his scrum. Both teams look pretty prepared today. As they bind, ball is fed. Comes out on the western side. Referee blows the whistle. Andrew Robbie ball. It's another scrum. Still Andrew in possession of the ball. We see the, the back lines of both teams quite a bit agitated and a bit, you know, furious what's, with what's going on there. You know, I mean, they're ready to get the, those, the ball into their hands. 
Luke Harris fits it into his scrum. Robbie wins it. And Robbie for the kick deep into Westing High School's territory. And it is that man, Avumile Katu, for the chase. He gets the ball, he takes it to ground. Buckley Westing is there on time to seal the ball and to keep possession of the ball. Quite Westing a good exit. Quite a good exit kick there by the uh, Andrew Robert boys. They've gained quite a few meters. And it's the whole squad is really deep into the into the western side. It's going to be that man, uh, Kaota Forbe, to take the exit for the western side. Andrew Robbie, number 15, catches the ball and decides to stay on line, runs down the line with the ball and grubbles it through the defensive line of Westring High School. Westring gains possession of the ball. They seal the ball. They make a firewall, planning to exit the ball. They play hands into the, into the hands of Apelele Mamoti, who takes it to ground, and they form another ruck, still keeping possession of the ball on their own five-meter line. Daniel Kramer with the exit, right into touch. Not that quite deep into the Andrew Robbie meters with that exit kick there from Lamiel Kramer, and now it's, we're going to have a line-out to the Andrew Robbie side. We are now deep in Westring High School territory, in Westring High School's own 22-meter line, Andrew Robbie's line out. And they are planning to take this ball over the try line. Line out is not successful. Westring catches it straight out of the air by Apelele Mamoti. And they play hands into the hands of a bit of a commotion there by the Westring boys. It's going to be that man, that man, Lute Mantenga to take the run. And it's going to be Lusanya Lembera. Lusanya Lembera trying to get a few meters for us to start. But he's stopped by the defense force of the Andrew Robbie side. That man, Kana, over there, taking it up, taking the initiative to get in the, uh, the western side a few meters. We're going to have a bit of a rock over there. It's going to be that man, Kauta Forbe, feeding into his back line. Great run there by Jeff. Jeff Reed. Jeff Reed takes it. Jeff Reed takes the ball to ground. Western hoping to play quick hands to the blind side to get the ball over the try line they managed to get it to their wing but their wing is stopped by the defense of andrew robbie the flag is up it's an andrew robbie line out deep in andrew robbie territory yeah i must say what a perfect move not not perfect but almost perfect move mm. by the western boys you know it they is quite it. deep into the into the field and they finally got out of their own 50 meter and they got into Andrew Robbie turf so they could chill a bit and less pressure on the Western High School boys. It's now Andrew Robbie with the line out. It's going to be that big man Fadil Haynes to feed into the line out. Line out another failure of the line out. Stephen Dando Pangashe for the try. Western side gets. Atavile Tastile, my apologies. Atavile Tastile with the first try for today. It will be 5 no. We're all waiting to see what the conversion is going to bring for us. It's either going to be 7 no, or it's going to remain as 5 no. after Lamuel Kramer takes, his, takes the attempt to convert. Which I could say Western High School is on a great start today. Yeah, they brought the hands, they brought the intensity, they brought the physicality. It's looking up on the Western side, and Ad Rabi will have to up their game in order to bounce back from this one. It's going to be that man, Lamuel Kramer, attempting the conversion. Flags up, and it's a successful kick. Two points added to the Western score. We're going to have another kick from the Andrew Rabi side. The Western uh, side looking quite, uh, quite strong and quite formidable. I mean, they've had a good run, you know, if looking back from when they were so deep into their field. They've done quite a uh, good job, you know. Now the Andrew Robbie boys still trying to keep their heads up, believing that there's a way of bouncing back, and they will bounce back. They kick the ball nice and high in order for them to get to where the ball is going to bounce first in time. They actually do that successfully. He catches number 10, which is 
Galen Smith catches the ball right out of the air and takes it to ground in the five meter line of West Wing High School. And now it is a more attempt for Andrew Robbie to attempt to get over the try line. Andrew Robbie picks up and goes, attempting to get over the try line again. This is a second attempt to get there. They play hands out wide. Nice hands by Andrew Robbie. But one man takes it down to ground. Great and hands there by Andrew Robbie's side. But the West Wing side, quite formidable. The defense is quite up and high. I mean, they're showing us a game today. They're bringing the action into the, you know, into the school ball rugby. Andrew Robbie with another attempt of scoring a drive by playing a short ball. And now they are offloading the ball to the blind side. But West Wing players can get there on time. They try to get the ball out of the air, but he fails to. Andrew Robbie regains oh. possession and scores a try in the corner, which makes it 5-7. Will Andrew Robbie get the conversion they're looking for in order to equalize the score and then attempt to go for another one? It's going to be that right wing of Andrew Robbie, Blaine Levac, to get the try for Andrew Robbie, putting a five-score a five score addition to the scoreboard. We're going to have that number 15 over there, Latham Plessis, Latham Plessis to try and attempt the conversion. I mean, the wind's not really on his side with this situation, and he's quite far from the post, so it's going to be really an interesting one to see what's going to come out from this one. Takes the kick. Flags down. Not quite the successful kick he would have hoped for. And now the score will be 7-5. So this will be a two-point difference game as West Wing is approaching the 50-meter line to kick off deep into the um, deep into Andrew Robbie turf and attempt to widen the gap of the scoreboard. It's going to be that man, Lamiel Kramer, to restart the game. Take the kick. Takes the kick. Not quite the hanging one. Flex up, it's going to be that uh, line out. It's going to be a line out for the Andrew Robbie side. And we're going to have yet another line out from that man, Luke Eris, trying to feed it into his line out. It is now West String line out. And this man, Litemba Nkenge, is going to be the man to go for the throw. West Wing was very ready for their line out, but the ref, unfortunately, was still speaking to them. It's going to be that man, Michel, Michel, Mbang, uh, Michel Mapangoshe, to get the, the catch. Nitema Ndenge takes it, advances, trying to penetrate a hole in the Andrew Robbie defense, but they're quite formidable, not allowing that. What a floppy, floppy uh, catch there by the skipper, the West Wing skipper. It is now an advantage to West Wing High School as they just attempted to go blindside, but the ball was passed straight out into touch. Now this man, the number 10 for West Wing High School, Lamio Kramer, will be kicking for touch. And he successfully finds touch, and now it will be a West Wing High School line out in the 22 meter line of Andrew Robby attempting to attempting to get over the try line and scoring this try to widen the gap and to play a safe game Misha catches it, it's going to be it quite an advance Ref calls it the linesman calls it, it's going to be a line out going to be a line out there not quite sure if it's for the western side or the uh, it's going to be a uh, line out for the andrew robbie side it's going to be that big man fatil hints to feed it into his line out Michel, Michel Mapangosha from the western side wins the line out for the western side left man lamiel kramer dummy in and is quite quickly caught it is now a rack in the favor of western high school ref blows the whistle for an advantage for West Wing High School. Just a reminder to everyone, may you please respect 
the barriers. Please respect the lines. Refs having a bit of a, a bit of a chat with both skippers of both teams, just to give them a few guidelines on the basic rules of the game. Referee passing on knowledge to the teams through the captains, and now the captains are off to talk to their teams and let them know what the ref has seen and what the ref would like to change in this game. It is still a wrestling advantage for Andrew Robbie not releasing the ball in the scrum. And Westring successfully finds touch, and it will be yet another line out deep in Andrew Robbie's territory, very close to the five meter line. Andrew Robbie's in a very uncomfortable position right now. Tembandenge with the feed into the line outs. It's gonna be that man, Michel Mapangoshe, to miss the catch. It's going to be a rock over there. A bit of a commotion. And Robbie side trying to play their hands. And that big man with the scrum at. It is now an Andrew Robbie advantage for an offside caused by Western players. Andrew Robbie tries to find touch. He kicks and successfully finds touch, but not far. Seeing that they are still in their own half. But just over the 10 meter line in Andrew Robbie's turf. Latham Placid trying to get his team out of the you know, out of the dangerous zone, you know, with that kick. It wasn't that far, but they quite a bit meters, a few meters out of that danger zone. And we're gonna have now the line out. It's gonna be that big man Fadil Haynes trying to feed that ball into his line out. Oh, bit of a move over there, bit of a knock on by the catcher. Lemuel Kramer trying to advance. Great hands there by Utimna. Oh, beautiful hands by Western High School as they get the ball to their wing. Who runs down the line. Gains quite a couple of meters, but unfortunately is knocked out of play. And this will be the Andrew Robbie line out. See that the flag is up. Andrew Robbie has been attempting fancy line outs. But unfortunately for them, most of them did not work out. They all ended with Western gaining possession of the ball straight out of the air. It's going to be also there once again that man Fadil Haynes trying to. Uh, this lineup was successful by Andrew Robbie as they play ball into hands. The number 12 steps inside and drives forward with those big rock there by both teams. Andrew Robbie side trying to get a few meters by the runs, not trying to take that exit. They don't quite think it's the better option. And Robbie oh, seems oh, to be trying to big play. Hit, big okay. hit there by Lucian Ellenberger. Big hit. And Robbie tried to play a, a ball in hand game, but Lucian Ellenberger just showed them that was a horrible the crowd, idea. The crowd is in absolute bonkers, man. Big hit there by Lucian Ellenberger. And now it will be a scrum to West String High School. Because of the knock on by Andrew Robbie, thanks to that big hit by Lucena Lembenga, Western High School's right wing, number 14. Western side seems to be playing quite a physical game, trying to show what, uh, what Western is made of, you know, in their home turf. Look, Aries with the feed for this scrum, as the ball is Andrew Robbie's ball. In their turf, still in their 22 meter line. And Western has been pressurizing them for this whole game, and they decide to exit. And they successfully do so, but not very far as Western oh, tries to catch the ball. Not quite the successful catch by that man, Latita Titi. Makes the apologies to his team. And Robbie still seeming to be in the danger zone. It's going to be quite a big interesting one to see uh, what they're going to do with this one. However, the exit would be a much better option. Seeing that they're in quite deep into their field, really in the danger zone. It's going to be that man. Luke Eris. Luke Eris. My apologies. To feed into his scrum. Successful scrum there by Foley. And it's going to be it. And Andrew Robby tips the ball down onto their own try line. And Ref calls a Westing scrum for um, moving back. 
And now it will be a Westring a Westring scrum on the five meter line of Andrew Robby. And if Westring High School plays this scrum successfully and smartly, they might get the points they're looking for to widen the gap on the scoreboard. Ref blows the whistle. We're going to have a restructuring of the scrum. It's going to be that man, Kauta Forbe, with the ball over there, trying to get that successful scrum for their boys. If the Western boys play their, their cards quite smart over here, it's going to be penalty. Kauta Forbe doesn't waste any time. Lamiel Crum with the move. Atiki also with the time. And it's a try. It's a try for the Western side. Five points up into the score. Picked up by Westring High School in smart hands, got them over that try line and got them five more points and an attempt to another conversion. If they make the conversion, the score will be 14-5, which will widen the gap by nine points. Absolutely great try there by the man Atikio. So the crowd loves it. I love it. I just put put our hopes up. It was a very smart and unselfish move by Westring High School. And successfully, they put a man into space, and that man carried the ball beautifully over the try line to get more points today. It's going to be that man, Lamiel Kramer, once again trying to make that conversion. We don't expect him to have quite a difficult one seeing the distance. It's going to be that man trying to take a look, and is it a successful one? Two points up into the Westring score. And the official score now is 14-5. So there's about a nine gap, a nine point gap between the two scores. And now we're back on the 50 meter line as Andrabi attempts to remake history and try to catch the ball out of the air again. We're gonna have that man Latham Plessy restarting the game, trying to take the kick. Puts it up into here, into the air. Hangs it quite greatly. That man, Jeff Reed, with a beautiful catch. Skipper, uh, the skipper, puts it up into the hands. Great hands there. Flags up. We're going to have a line out. It is now a line out for Andrew Robbie as they have possession over the 50 meter line in which they have less pressure on themselves and they can, and they can smartly play the ball into hands and hopefully they get the ball over the try line to make the gap, to make the score gap narrower in order for them to regain confidence that they had in the beginning of the game. Hands by Andrew Robby and a small tip over. Luce and Benga, Benga gets there in time in order to make the tackle. Off road by Andrew Robby. And it's another right by Andrew Robby. They try to play the ball to the blind side. Number 11 by Andrew Robby takes the ball in. Great Tries tackle there by Atik Yose. Puts a stop to that advance. We're going to have another lines by the number seven. The Andrew Robbie flank trying to put a, an advance to gain some meters for his side. It's going to be that big man number one. That big prop from the Andrew Robbie side. Trying to penetrate her all in the, in the Western defense. Beautiful hands by Andrew Robbie as they pass the ball to, to their number 15. Latham Plessy who offloads the ball to his number 11. Janine. Gareth who carries the ball very close to the to the <laughs> oh, to the try line of Western High School. The ref calls it. It's going to be a penalty. Latham Plessy trying to take that kick. He gets the touch, and they've get quite a few meters into the Western side. It's going to be we seeing those Andrew Rabi boys having a bit of a hiccup, you know, trying to tell each other what to really do. I mean, they should be quite. They should be quite frustrated looking at the scoreboard, you know, and all the opportunities they've missed. This is quite another one opportunity. It is Andrew Robby yet with another lineout attempt, but this time they are very deep into Western territory. They try to play it smart, but the number six of Western High School, Mishe Mapangoshe. Gets the ball out of air and gains possession for Western High School. It is now a ruck. Western High School attempts to. Make an exit kick. They make the exit kick successfully. Very close to the 50 meter line. And now Andrew Robby tries to play. Tries to play a quick line out. But then the ref decides otherwise. 
because it is too late for them. It is now Andrew Robbie line out. Fadil Haynes with the throw. A ref calls the whistle, trying to have a bit of a chat with the boys. West Wing boys didn't count properly numbers in the line out. And it seems like it's a full house today in the line out. Plays a fancy one. They go straight to the back. They fumble their own line out, but they still keep possession of the ball. Referee calls a skew throw, and it will be Western High School with the option, and they choose a scrum. It was that big man, the skipper of the, of the Andrew Rabi side, Algen Mentor, who had a bit of a fumble with the ball, had a bit of a knock, and the ref calls it. It's, it's going to be a scrum for the Western side. I've got to say, Western choosing a scrum is a very smart play because they know they have pretty good hands and that corner is very easy to target and to score in Successful. considering Andrew Robbie's defense on that side and now Western High School with the, with the pass out of the scrum Lamiel Kramer kicks the ball over and it goes over touch deep into Andrew Robbie's territory after Lusanel Mbenga puts pressure on the number 11 of Andrew Robbie, Janine Gayers. And it is now an Andrew Robbie lineout once again. Once again, it's going to be that big man for Dio Haynes trying to feed into his lineout, trying to gain a successful lineout for his team. I mean, they're quite in the deep zone. Fumbled it again. The it's going to be a rock. It's going to be that big man, Tokos Okana, trying to get the try, but he's quite held up. He's quite held up, and it's going to be a rock over there. The boys are all over the, the ball. The captain for Western High School, Luther Human, with a short ball, over the, catches a short ball and runs over the try line. And that is, and that is another try by Western High School. And that adds more points to their scoreboard, which makes them more comfortable on their own field. He gave an acres field. And now it will be Lamuel Kramer with the attempt to get the conversion to make the gap even wider on the scoreboard to try and drag down the confidence of Andrew Robby and try to bring up their confidence to get more points in this game. It was that big man Luther Human who got the try for the Western side. The skipper of the Western side who once again widens up the gap between the two scores. We have that man Lemuel Cromer trying to get his formation to get to to attempt to make the conversion. Not quite the successful kick he would have quite hoped for, but he's not that much demotivated by that. They know they have quite a, a lot, a lot more to offer. Daniel yeah. Kromer, a great kicker, he got the height, but he just wasn't quite on target. Ball slightly went to the left, and now we are back on the 50 meter line once again. Then again, it is Andrew Robbie with the kick, and he kicks it straight up. Western High School with their guard up, knocked back by Western High School. And it is now a rock, but referee calls a knock on. So it will now be an Andrew Robbie scrum in the territory of Western High School. It was that man, Diasop, who had that catch, but not quite the successful one he, did, he wanted. It was a knock, and we're going to have now the, the formation of the scrum between the two teams. Andrew Robbie carefully planning what their next move will be. It's going to be that l man, Luke Ellis, feeding the, the ball into his, uh, into his back line. Bit of a rock there by the boys. Boys are all over the ball. And Robbie yet with another play in hand. Try to play their back line now. And Robbie's number nine takes the ball to ground. My apologies. Seems like that was not the number nine. Andrew Robbie player attempts to pick up and go. But luckily, Western could stop him before he gained too many meters. And now, Andrew Robbie attempts to break a line. 
successfully does that, but it is he is stopped due to slow pace. And Robbie playing beautiful hands today. That man took also kind of with a beautiful tackle over there. The Western defense looking quite formidable. They Andrew Robbie stopped to every advance. Andrew Robbie with the cross kick. And Lusanel Mbenga with a knockback. Referee blows the whistle. And makes a call. And that call would be Andrew Robbie. And Robbie's ball for not releasing in the line out by West Wing High School. And Robbie carefully planning this out as the number nine for Andrew Robbie. Look, Eris standing in front of the ball, looking to play hands, feed the ball to the forwards who formidably run into West Wing's defense, drive forward, but West Wing attempts to take it down to ground and slows him down before he gains any more meters. Wishing with the shoot up, but a huge, num the huge number eight from Andrew Robbie takes the ball in. It's going to be that skipper, Elton Mentor, to try to gain those few meters. What a beautiful cross kick and a catch by the number 11 from Andrew Robbie. And then offloads the ball, but it is unsuccessful due to Wishing's defense being that strong. The ref calls it. It's going to be a scrum to the Western side. There were, it seemed to be a bit of a forward pass there by the Andrew Robbie boys. So we're going to have that formation of a scrum. I mean, I have to put a, you know, quite a bit of a comment on the physicality of the Andrew Robbie boys. You know, they've put us, they put up a good show. And they've shown us a bit of a bit of an action. Jeffrey trying to get a few meters for the resting side. It's going to be that man, Avumile Kato, with the great hands. He passes to Titi with the step. Tries to get that goose. Trying to flex his skills, trying to flex those sonic legs. And Avumile Kato tries to pick up the ball and link with his teammates and play the ball all the way to the other side of the field. But then the linesman decides otherwise and puts his flag up. It will now be an Andrew Robbie scrum, seeing that Andrew Robbie was able to knock Titi out of play. It was that man again, Latita Titi, trying to flex those sonic legs, trying to show us those skills. <laughs> it seems like it is now a scrum. Ref calls it scrum down for two the Andrew Robbie side. It's that man, Luke Eris, attempting to feed that ball into his scrum. Puts it in. The number two hooks it. A bit of a commotion there. The ref calls it. It's going to be a penalty to the. Doesn't waste any time. Oh, what, what a step. What a beautiful step to Jeffrey. It sent him flying. And now Andrew Robbie still has possession of the ball in hand. And they attempt to grab it through. Number 11 chases. That man, Latita Titi, getting the exit for the Western side. Andrew Robbie, number four, attempts to carry the ball back. He, he successfully does that over the 50 meter line. He takes a huge hit and offloads the ball to one of his teammates who he saw was available and was a very strong carrier. And now another attempt, another one by Andrew Robbie, and that run was also stopped by Western High School. Pass to back line, but number 10 is not in the perfect position to be receiving the ball. But if and now, Western High School with the attempt to steal the ball, and they steal it successfully. And they play hands. Now, this man is alone, but luckily, his captain, Luther Human, makes it on time to seal the ball and to make sure they keep possession of the ball. Another play by Western High School, but Andrew Robbie gains possession, and the referee calls a high tackle by Andrew Robbie, which means Western High School keeps possession of the ball. It will now be Lamuel Kramer who will be attempting to find touch and gain a few meters by doing so in order for his team to have less pressure on them. He kicks for touch, successfully finds touch over the 10 meter line of Andrew Robbie. That was a great kick there by the man Lamuel Kramer getting the touch. And he caused a bit of commotion side. in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that man, Lite Mantenge, 
taking the initiative and trying to get that successful line out for his team. West Jingpo is quite a few meters deep from the half into the to the Andrew, Andrew Robbie side. But if a move there, Apilele Mamoti catches it. That man counter for me feeding in into his back line. Ooh, beautiful run by West Jing High Schools. West Jing High School and they keep possession of the ball after that ruck. And it will be this man, Avumile Katu, who takes the run and overflows to his wing. Not quite the successful run Avumile Katu would have hoped for there. You know, it was quite a big hit. He lost control of the ball. And we're going to be having that line out. So many Pop. line outs in this game, seeing that both teams are trying to get those corner tries. And now it will be an Andrew Robbie line out. We're going to see those boys up there forming up to get that uh, the line out. And it is a throw over. Both teams do not manage to get the ball out of the air. But Andrew Robbie gets the ball from the back. And they play two phases which gained them quite a couple of meters and now they run a dummy line passes to the back line but they fumble the ball a bit western attempts to get over the ball and steal it but andrew Robby keeps possession of the ball they play it all the way to the wing wing the number 11 wing offloads back inside the attempt to keep the ball in play boys looking quite physical over there having a bit of a hiccup but the linesman pulls the flag up. We're going to have a line out, line out to the western side. Oh, my apologies. It's going to be a ball given to the Andrew Robbie side. So we form in four minutes to half time. A uh, beautiful competition in the air by both these teams. Apelele Mamoti sees he's going to be driven out and taps the ball with his foot back into the hands of his teammates. Now Westring with a, um, a ruck in their own favor. That man, Litema Mantenga, taking that initiative, trying to get those few meters for the Westring. Boys are all over the ball. Kauta with the pass to Ghana. Ghana runs it up, they hold him up, but luckily he gets his knees onto the ground and it is called a tackle. They play ball blindside. Once again, that man, Lite Mantenge. We're going to look. Lusanel Mbenga, with those strong arms, it manages to keep the ball in possession. And now, Apelele Mamoti takes the ball to ground. Referee calls Andrew Robby ball for Western High School falling over the rack. Andrew Robbie will be attempting to find touch, and it will be that man, Latham Plessis. The number 15 who will be attempting to find touch for them. He kicks the ball successfully and finds touch also successfully, and it will now be their line out in West String High School's turf. The Andrew Robbie side advancing to that line out. They have gained quite a few meters into West String territory. Once again, it's going to be that man, that big number two, Fadil Haynes. And the ball goes over once again, and Western gains position from the air, as they've been most of the time out of Andrew Robbie's line out. Skana with the run, takes the ball to ground, and now it will be Kauta, who feeds the ball to Lamiel Kramer. He takes a kick. He gets it nice and deep into Andrew Robbie, to Andrew Robbie territory, and the ball finds touch on the 22 meter line and it will now be an Andrew Robbie line out in Andrew Robbie's own 22 meter line. We see that whole western side advancing to that line out. They're quite deep into the, uh, into the safe zone and the Andrew Robbie side quite deep into the danger zone. Once again another line out for that man Fadil Haynes trying to feed it into his line, into his team, hoping to get quite the successful line out looking. Beautiful line out by Andrew Robbie, but then the number nine somehow fumbles the ball and Western gains possession of the ball. 
turnover ball for the Western side. Labio Kramer with the dummy and he carries on running in and gets into the five meter of Andrew Robbie. Andrew Robbie is in a very uncomfortable position, position as they regain, as they regain possession of the ball and attempt to exit. But the referee blows the whistle and gives an advantage to Andrew Robbie due to Western High School's knock on. Oh, my apologies. It seems like Andrew Robbie had the first knock, which means Western High School is going to have possession of the ball in this line out, in this scrum. This seems to be the last play for this half. After this, we may be going straight into half time. Kauta Fobe will be feeding the ball into the scrum this time. As the number nine of Andrew Robbie tries to chirp him and sticks right by his ear. Ah, uh, Western High School plays the scrum successfully. That man had no crime on getting his hands. Oh, ah, Musa Nelim. Family catch. Musa Nelim being out with the knock on. Latita Titi catches the ball after it was grabbed by Andrew Robbie onto the five meter line. And now it seems like we have a shoulder injury on the number 11 of Western High School, Latita Titi. After we such a beautiful run with the ball. We're going to have the medics to go check up on that boy, Latita Titi. And now number five, the captain of Western High School, trying to convince the referee that that was a dangerous tackle, seeing that his player is down. Yeah, I mean, I saw a bit of a, a bit of some hands going over his neck. It seemed to be, you know, a bit of a high tackle. But he seems to be in pain. We have the medics coming to check up on that. But I believe now we're going straight up into halftime.
Testing, testing. We're going to have that restart of the game. It's going to be that man, Latham Plissy, taking that kick, hanging it in the air. Put up a family catch there, but Ghana, Ntokoso Ghana, getting that tackle there for the Western side. It's that big man, the big prop from the, the Robbie side. Getting a rock and now and Robbie attempting to play hands. They play a dummy line, but they got confused by their own move. They attempt to cross kick the ball, but they cross kicked it into touch and gave the ball to Western High School for a line out. Now Western High School with the line out in their own territory in their own 22 meter line. And now after team talk and some more time, I'm sure Andrew Robbie's feeling very confident seeing how they're pressing Western High School right now. It's going to be interesting to see the turnout of this uh, half. this half. Whether it's going to be a continuation of what happened last the on the previous half, or have the boys changed the dynamics of the game? It is now referee who blows the whistle for Westring advantage, and now Westring High School's Lamuel, one and only Lamuel Kramer, will attempt to find touch. And he does so successfully over the 50 meter line, gaining quite a lot of meters for his team. It will be a Western High School line out. Very good kick there by that man, Lamuel Cromer, getting that touch, showing us some elite level schoolboy rugby. <laughs> it seems like he's got a very educated boot. Yeah, those laces are quite tight. Now we're going to see that man, that big man, Lite Mandenge, getting his form. That Ape man, Apelele Mamoti, getting um, a successful catch. Bit of a confusion in Western High School's line out. But then, but then Kauta Fobe, uh, Kauta Fobe gains possession for Western. That man, Lite Mandenge, taking that up, that initiative. Trying to get those meters. Balls all over that ball. Lamiel Kramer trying to fit it into his back line. That man Tano, Ntano getting those few meters. What a beautiful run by Ntando. The number eight for the number. What a beautiful run by Ntando, which gained quite a few meters for Westring High School, number 22. And they play a few more phases, which gained them quite a bit of meters. And it is still Westring ball in Andrew Robby. Oh, and it's a turnover for Andrew Robbie in the in Andrew Robbie's own turf. Yo, but of some physical action there by the Robbie boys, you know, trying to get all their hands onto that ball, trying to seize that position. Uh, that position. But Western High School manages to put enough pressure on Andrew Robbie to the point that Andrew Robbie knocks the ball on, and now it will be a Western High School scrum right by Andrew Robbie's 22 meter line see that formation of the scrum and we see that beautiful formation of the back lines both teams quite accurate in their forms Western high school's back line looking very prepared to play the ball in hands and they do that beautifully beautiful play and it's going to be that man Avumile Katu trying to get that one passes it off to Awam Sompani beautiful offload by Western high school and they managed to get to that corner and score another yet another try and widens the gap even more to get more confidence and now western high school has this seem to be that man oh i'm Sumbani, trying to widen that gap between the scoreboard the two we scores those west western boys getting that that opportunity to celebrate that try it really really deserved as quite a, a huge celebration and we're going to have that man, Lamuel Kramer, attempting that conversion. It's going to be interesting to see the turnout of this, looking at the fact that he's quite far from the poles. See how tight those boots are. Lamuel Kramer having a bit of trouble with placing the ball in the perfect position to get it over those two, those two horns, which we all love. 
Lamuel Kramer with the kick puts the ball nice and high, but unfortunately not enough power behind it. It doesn't make it over the post. It seemed quite accurate, however, it lacked a bit of some power. We are now back on the 50 meter line, and we are be kicking off to Westring High School with a 19 point gap. And Robby doing the same thing over and over again, kicking the ball shallow but nice and high. And Robby number 14 catches the ball out of the air. And then number nine does a few fancy stuff. The number three from Andrew Robby. It's going to be that man, Zingi Salibala. With the beautiful carry, but unfortunately, Western High School's rocking is beautiful. And they managed to get there. Now we have a bit of a fight going on in the field. Western High School seems like they're having fun with it. And Robby feeling the pressure, looking at the scoreboard, which makes him look down. And it will now be a scrum to Andrew Robby because of a knock-on caused by West Dream High School in the attempt of stealing the ball. I mean, you can see the Andrew Robbie boys, you know, a bit frustrated with how they've performed so far. And also, if you compare the two scores, I mean, they're getting quite worked up, you know, having a bit of, a, uh, trying to have a bit of some fights with the West Dream boys. Looks like West Dream High School is trying to send through a message Try to make it very clear to Andrew Robbie who's the better team today. Ref calls it, blows the whistle. We're going to have a restructure of that scrum. Places his boot, places the mark, telling the boys how to do the things. Another scrum attempt for Andrew Robbie since the first one did not go quite well. Referee calls crouch and he calls sit. Now the ball is fed into the scrum. Pick up by number eight, but luckily the number six of Westring High School, Michel Mabangoshe, who gets there in time to drag the Andrew Robby number eight out of play. It was that Andrew Robby skipper with the scrum hat trying to take that ball across the, the try line. It seems like the referee is trying to make sure what he saw was correct which was Western High School with a bit of a high tackle. And the referee calls the call. Western High School with the high tackle, which means Andrew Robbie has got possession of the ball. And it is their advantage. That feeds the ball to number eight. And then he takes it down to ground, just, just in front of the five meter line from Western High School. They do a pick up and go. And they still don't manage to get over the try line. Andrew Robbie tries to play another phase. They play a short ball to their pod. And now it seems like they are going to try to get the ball to back line. Quick hands. But unfortunately, oh. he tried to catch with his chest and he ended up knocking the ball on. Luther Human with the pick up and drives forward. But unfortunately, and Robbie boys managed to get him down. And now, Kauta feeds the ball to Lionel Kramer who attempts to kick the ball out and gain a few meters. That but man just really trying to save his side. We see a bit of some steps from the back line, Westring back line. I mean, the Andrew Robbie side really not appreciating what's going on right now. I mean, they had their hopes uh, quite up high. And we'll, we'll see that ref putting a pause to the game. And we're going to have to restart that game. It seems that there's a man down. The medics are called to check up what's going on. If you, compare the, if you compare the noise levels from the start of the game up until now, especially from the Andrew Robbie side, you see there's quite a huge decline. And I can really say that's purely because of that scoreboard. <laughs> you know, they're not feeling it. <laughs> Andrew Robbie supporters are sitting down just watching the game, heartbroken. And Western High School supporters are on their feet very excited, seeing that the scoreboard seems very promising, and then believing Andrew Robbie will not be able to bounce back in this time in the game, especially with the score on the scoreboard currently. So the ref calls it back up until to the to the center of that field. We're gonna have a restructuring of the scrum. It's gonna be that man Kauta Forbe handed the ball, given the opportunity to feed that ball 
to his hooker. The boys bind. Crouch. Successful scrum there. But the Andrew boys quickly go up and stop that advance off that resting side. They managed to pick him up, and it is now a huge, a very huge mall. But Western High School seems to be winning it, and somehow they push Andrew Abbey quite a few meters back onto Western High School's 22 meter line. But somehow Andrew Robbie manages to win the ball and gain possession of the ball. And now the referee calls Andrew Robbie advantage. And now it will be a scrum to Andrew Robbie on the 22 meter line of Western High School. Seemed to be a bit of a commotion over there, but the ref puts a pause to that game and calls a scrum. Today it seems like Andrew Robbie has a very strong offense, but Western has a strong defense. And then Western has a very strong offense, but unfortunately for Andrew Robbie, they have to practice their defense more. That man Latham Plessy puts man into space on the line he runs it down the line attempting to score a try but the flag is up this wow. man is tackled out of play and now it will be a western high school line out we're going to see that line out deep into the the danger zone of the western side but they get an opportunity to clear that out. It's going to be that man, Lite Mantenge. Big man, Lite Mantenge, feeding it. Successful catch there by that man. Apelele Mamo, do we see that, Mo? Oh, he Ref dives it. over to score. But unfortunately, referee blows the whistle. And now, Western High School boys with the chirp, knowing that they have possession of the ball after such an embarrassing view of what we just saw. Of course, it seems to be trying to have a bit of a chat with one of the coaches from the Andrew Robbie side. Just to make sure everyone's on the same page. If you look at things from this side of, uh, of things, the ref seems to be chasing those two men away from the field not quite liking their input into the game. But we're going to have... And now the, the referee blows Andrew Robbie for chirping, which means Andrew Robbie has to go further back. And now Lamuel Kramer attempts to find touch, successfully finds touch, and gains quite a couple of meters for his team. Right over their own 22-meter line, but they are still in their own half of the field. Not quite what they'd hoped for from that kick but at least they quite out of that danger zone uh western high school with a successful with a successful line out <laughs> and then lano kramer with the grabber through the defensive line but luckily the end of the number 15 of andrew robby gets to the ball in time but unfortunately for him he knocks the ball on it was that man lathan plessy who couldn't have who couldn't quite get that successful catch had a bit of some gre greasy hands. Got the knock and the ref called it. It's going to be a scrum to the western side. Today's game seems like a possession game. Whoever has the ball looks like the better team. I mean, looking at the second half, it's been quite neutral. We haven't seen that much action, that much enticing action from both sides. It's really been a push and go and a push and go. Successful scrum there for the western side. That man Lemo Kramer trying to get that grubber, trying to get those meters, but it's that man Sompani who couldn't quite get there in time. Beautiful play to, to the blind side by Western High School, but unfortunately the grubber was too strong and Sompani couldn't get to it in time. It will now be another yet another line out in Andrew Robbie's favor. They will be attempting to get another successful line out, seeing that most of the line outs they had today want didn't go as planned. <coughs> We're gonna have that line out for the Andrew Robbie side. They get the catch. Ref calls it, but too wide. 
a little wide for the Andrew Rabi side. Referee blows the whistle and calls it a skew ball, as we have all seen it was. Gives Western High School a decision, and Western High School makes that decision and chooses a scrum since they feel more comfortable and more confident having a scrum. It will now be a scrum down, and the feed will be made by Kauta Fobe. We see that both uh, the coaches of both teams are quite satisfied with their boys. Haven't seen that much substitutions, but we see that scrum there fed in by that man, Kauta Fobe. And the ball went in and straight back out. So this means it'll still be a Western High School ball. As the number nine from Andrew Robbie attempts to play games with the number nine from Western High School. We see those strong men there from the Western side. You know, quite eager to get their hands on, on, on that ball. They have a perfect formation over there. And if the ball gets to Lucena Limbenga, should be a promising thing to have. That man, Lemuel Kramer, getting that move. Not quite successful, but he gets it successfully to the uh, Avumile Katu. It is now a scrum, a ruck in Western High School's favor. Now Kauta with the, f with the pass to Ghana, who drives forward and drags three people with him along. Now they have a huge overlap, and they try to make use of that overlap by keeping the ball in hand and playing it to the that man own Tando, the number 22. Trying to get that advance. Still Western High School with the possession of the ball. It's a ruck by Western High School deep in Andrew Robby territory. They try to play their forwards through their number 10. Western High School with another ruck. Daniel Kramer decides he should take the ball. The other side, hands all the way to the outside. Then somebody decides to cut inside and run that in. Oh, and somehow so he and he makes it over the try line to add more points in Westring's favor onto that scoreboard. We haven't seen though that much tries from the Andrew Robbie side. I mean, they should be really picking up the. I mean, picking up their socks. I feel like Andrew Robbie is not a bad team, but they're making too many mistakes, and Westring High School is noticing that and making the best out of what they can. They're capitalizing through Andrew Robbie's mistakes, which get them. To where they are on the scoreboard right now and they've i mean the western side have been quite excellent in using their opportunities to good use and that's quite evident with that so with that score gap it's going to be that man once again lamiel kramer the western number 10 trying to attempt that conversion kicks it oh beautiful kick he makes a conversion and now it will be a 31-5 game point. We are now back on the 50 meter line. And it will be Andrew Robby once again kicking off into Western High School. We're going to see that restart of the game. That man, Latham Plessy, trying to get that perfect kick. Hangs it up in the air. Uh, Western High School makes a smart decision and lets the ball go because it did not go over the five. That man took Hozo Ghana with some family hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, Western High School makes a decision. Instead of choosing a line out on the 50 meter line, they decide they'll take a scrum on the 50 meter line in the middle of the field to give them more options whether to play the right or left. And now it will be a scrum. And Ka Kauta Fobe will be the man to feed in the scrum. They decide to take it to the right-hand side of the field. Daniel Kramer, who catches the ball successfully, passes it all the way to Lusana Limbenga. Lusana Limbenga decides to stick to the line and unfortunately decides to cut in and they caught him in possession of the ball. He took it to ground. They formed a perfect ruck and they offered the ball to Mbenga, to Ghana. Ghana plays the ball. Right? with the chat shoes. And of course, it, it's a try. For the Western side, that man Atikiyose with an angle run towards the corner where he felt would be more safer and comfortable to put the ball down. And just like that, he scores more points for Western High School. Andrew Robbie has lost its confidence. Their heads are down, which are causing them to retract from the game. I mean, it's just been try after try, just back-to-back -back tries. 
It's that man Toko Zogana celebrating that try by the man Toko, I mean Artigiose. I mean, it is quite uh, saddening to look at that wide gap from the goal, considering how far they've came and Robbie to play this game. The supporters aren't appreciating that. The scoreboard looks like it was never nil nil from the beginning. Seems to be a change in the kicker. It's going to be that man, Avumile Katu, to try and make that conversion for the Western side. Takes it. Oh, unfortunately, doesn't aim it properly. And his, the win was not on his side either, which doesn't get him the proper conversion. It is now a 31-point difference in this game. And Robbie slowly walking with no confidence towards the 50-meter line with yet another kickoff into Westring High School's turf, which I highly doubt they'll stay in for, for much time. It's going to be that Latham Plessis hanging it into the Westring territory. Great catch there by Atebile Tastile. Puts his hands wide and gives it to that man, Kauta Forbe. Great run there by Lamir Kramer. Oh, that man, what Atiki also with the jet shoes, sweeps the ball up and gets that one. Looking to get his players. Dummy oh, Ross! Dummy oh Ross! That man, oh Atiki also! And he dies for the try. try! Oh, that is one to replay. What a beautiful play. What a beautiful dummy. Yo. And what, what yo, I was very, that left me speechless. I was <laughs> a beautiful play. <laughs> what an absolutely beautiful try. <laughs> That deserves the highest form of praise from that man, Atiki Yose. What a very astonishing line break dummy, which sent that man flying to Cape Town. <laughs> that was so unbelievable and very unexpected. Yeah, I mean, this is some elite level schoolboy rugby from the Western side. I mean, they've shown us quite a, they've put up a show and they've made it quite quite worthy. And it seems like Western High School is taking this one as a joke now. And they're starting to think they can take it over 50. And Robbie has lost hope at this point, fighting at the try line. And someone this not is feeling a, like playing anymore. This has been a very beautiful day and a very nice. It's going to be that conversion over there. The flags raised up. It's going to be that man, Kauta Forbe, with the first conversion of his life. And it's a success. It's that number nine, Kauta Forbe. I mean, everyone's cheered up. No one expected him to really make that, to make that kick. Then again, Andrew Robbie kicks off to Western High School. They attempt to catch the ball out of air, but they knock it on. Referee blows a whistle because he noticed the knock on. Double knock on. First knock by Andrew Robbie. Second knock by Western High School, which means this is Western High School's scrum. So we're going to see the boys forming up. Kauta Fobia is about to feed the ball. But then someone came on for him. Number 23 from Western High School will be feeding the ball. Western High School runs two changes. And now Apelile Mamoti is the second one to be sent over the field. We're going to have two sub substitutions there for the Western side. That man, Dylan Leopard and Luolo Funde. Bit of some greasy hands by that man, Jeffrey Reed. And he didn't get quite the successful, quite the successful catch he would have hoped for. Penalty there. Doesn't waste time. The number nine from the Andrew Robbie side. But Ndokozo kind of puts a stop to that. Pick up and go. Ref calls it. Blows the whistle, it's a try for the Andrew Robbie side. That try doesn't make quite a difference to the scoreboard. It's like a drop in, it's like a raindrop in the ocean. <coughs> but then it still narrows the gap of the scoreboard. Gives them a ten point gives Andrew Robbie ten points now, which is a five point less. Now they made the conversion, which gives them twelve points. And it is now a 43-12 point game. You In see those Western boys rushing up uh, to the half line, trying to get a restart of that game. 
Sisao number 21 looking very ready to chase the ball. Watches his number 10 to start chasing in time. Lamuel Kramer with the kick, not so deep into Andrew Rabi Turf. It goes over, it goes over the touchline. And now Andrew Rabi has a decision to make and they decide to take a scrum on the 50 meter line seeing that they feel more comfortable in that. Ref calls it, he sees that the, the Andrew Rabi side have decided on the scrum. You're gonna see that number nine, that big man trying to yet again feed that ball into his into his side to get that successful scrum. And Rabi side trying to chase that score, but they're quite they do have quite some effort to make. Successful scrum by Andrew Rabi and referee blows a whistle. F that man Nathan Plessy not wasting any time. Oh, what Ted a shoot there by the number 13. Ah, oh, somehow he dummied, broke the line, and made it through over the try line and decides to place the ball right under the poles in order to make it that easier for his number 15. There was a beautiful try there by that man, uh, lined in Africa, to get that try. And the Andrew Robbie side quite enjoying that try. I mean, it was some good moves there, good hands. Andrew Rabi looking like their guard has once again gone up and Western High School starting to wonder what is happening. Could it be the subs? Could it be the players who are tired? Or could it be them being cocky due to the scoreboard? Now we are back on the 50 meter line, but this time it's then again Western High School with the kickoff into Andrew Rabi turf. Now they decide to go the other direction with the ball. He kick, kicks it nice and high, which makes it almost impossible for Andrew Robby to catch the ball. They gain possession of the ball in the air. Western High School runs it up. He yep. former ruck, a successful ruck. Now that... That man took also kind of breaking and penetrating that defense. And successfully offloads the ball, seeing that there's not enough man to secure the ball. He gains quite a couple of meters. That man Dylan Leopard feeding it to that man Kramer. Referee blows it and Robbie Ball holding for ho for Westring holding on to the ball. That Don't man let them bless him with the just shoes. Let them bless him takes it. The number 15, he's gone. And he dives for it right under the balls. Andrew Robbie starting to wake up. Andrew Robbie's getting the excitement. Andrew Robbie's feeling like. This game is promising once again. Western High School is a silent school this time. Western supporters are not looking very happy. Then again, another try under the poles. This is the third try under the poles, and they kick the ball once again. As quickly as they always did. That man, Latham Plessy, getting that try and getting that conversion after that. And we see the, the Andrew Robbie tries just piling up, getting closer, closing the difference and closing the gap between those two scores. Whether you are on the field or on the sidelines or on the pavilions, you did not expect that quick, a quick tap and play. No one expected it. The Western boys are just absolutely confused with what's happening. You know, they got quite a bit of a shockwave from that Andrew Rabi side. You see those just couple of tries piling up and closing that gap. That man, Lamuel Kramer, gave that restart, putting it up into the air. Oh, Andrew Robbie with the attempt to catch the ball straight out of the air, but unfortunately for them, they knock the ball on. Western gets possession of the ball. Referee, let's see. Let's see advantage slide. Western High School plays a phase, which is a short ball. And now they take the ball to the back line. Great and hands there by the Western side. We see a, a bit of a rock. The, balls, the guys all over the ball. Oh, what a grabber by Lionel Kramer as they take him down. As he keeps his anti with the chase, he gets to the ball on time. But unfortunately, there is no support there. He offloads the ball. But the person with the offload was also caught in possession of the ball. Attempts to offload, but no one was there. Now, Western High School with the attempt oh, to run it again. Western High School with another phase. Tunto Kosokana, he puts his arm out, out to stop the tackle. That man, he told my saying is trying to get that try. But he's quickly stopped by that and Robbie defense. Beautiful offload by Togozugana to Latita and Dengue. But unfortunately, they caught him in position. And now, with another phase, they play beautiful as 
That and they attempt to go over the try line, but unfortunately, they did not make it over. They decided to go back to the side they came from, but then Luther Human decides to run back in to give Western High School more options on their next phase. It's going to be that the, the ref putting a, a pause to the game, having a bit of a chat with the boys. So it is still a Western High School's ball position. And Robby sees that this man seemed to have tapped the ball and was ready. What a beautiful shoot up. But unfortunately, it wasn't legal because the ball was still dead. Western High School make a decision. We're going to see the ref going back to that previous move. There was seemed to be a bit of a, mis of a, a misconduct. Referee gives Western High School a decision between two different advantages, which Andrew Robbie caused with reckless rugby. Now the referee makes sure makes sure he's making the right decision by chatting to his to his linesman, which is also authority. And now Andrew Robbie is running a sub due to an injury. This puts a short pause to the game. We see those and Rabi boys just confirming to their coaches that there seems to be a man down on their side. And they are going to have a bit of a substitution. And now Western High School's advantage for an offside caused by and Rabi. Tap and go. And they try to get over the try line. Tap and go by that man, Lieutenant Mantenge. Loses and control of that boy. Seems to have knocked. Was a knock on. And this man decides to pick the ball up and not wait for a scrum. He attempts to run, but he also knocks the ball on himself. And now, first knock, Western High School, Andrew Robby, second knock, which means Andrew Robby gains possession, but unfortunately, deep into their territory in the five meter line. Riff just puts a pause to that game, having a chat to his helper, his linesman. <laughs> it's that man, Avumile Katu. <laughs> with the jokes on the field. At least Andrew Robbie was able to put a two number point on the field, on the scoreboard. My apologies. It's going to be that number nine from the Andrew Robbie side, Luke Eris. Trying to feed his scrum. What a beautiful scrum by Western High School. Looking determined to get the ball. They tried to exit. Touchdown by Western High School. But then, unfortunately, they do not get to the ball in time to score that try they were looking it was for. was that man, Latham Plessis, trying to get that exit. And now it will be a 22-meter exit. Westring tries to fill all the gaps. He goes straight for touch. And the ball almost hits us in our faces. <laughs> We're going to see the ref calling it a scrum to the western side. The western side quite deep into the Andrew Rabi territory. It's going to be uh, quite interesting to see the turnout of this one. I mean, they have quite some surprises packed up into their sleeves. Ref calls it. It's going to be that man, Dylan Lippard, to feed his scrum. Trying to get that success. Feeds it in. Oh, Red hands there by that man. It's going to be that man, Lamel Kramer, getting those jet shoes, getting that, those few steps in, trying to dance a little. And the boys are all over that ball. It's going to be a bit of a rock. Tokozo Ghana trying to advance. Tokozo Ghana attempting to dominate that tackle and offloading, but sees would not be successful now Katu with the dummy and run in but unfortunately he catch him in position and he takes it to ground western high school still keeps position of the ball uh, Offer to western high school now western high school has an advantage which the referee just called now for an offside by andrew robbie ref calls it it's going to be a, a, a penalty to the western side they're quite deep into that territory that meant dylan leopard Handing the ball over to that man, Lemuel Kramer, trying to get his touch. 
Lamio Kramer now attempting to find touch. Gets comfortable with the ball, kicks it into the air. And not quite unfortunately, he doesn't get to touch, but that man Sumpani got there in time to slow the wing down in order for his teammates to get there and attempt to do some hardcore racking. And now the ball is... What an exit by Andrew Robbie. And they've... And they kicked the ball not very far. It was that exit kick by that Andrew Robbie, number 15. Uh, uh, big my pardon, I beg your pardon, Blaine Levesque to get that exit, trying to take them out of that danger zone. It's so not that much meters they've tried, uh, they've gained, but we see that line out by that man, Mite Mantenge, feeling it. Western High School attempts to keep it very simple, but their line out doesn't go as planned. Unfortunately for Andrew Robbie, Ref sees that spacing was not enough between the two lineouts, and this will be a redo for the lineouts. Still, lineout doesn't go as successfully as they have planned. This number eight from Andrew Robby, Algen Mentor, the captain of Andrew Robby, takes the ball to ground. Andrew Robby plays a couple of phases. Great the tackle there the by meters. that man, Luther Human, the skip off the wrist, wristing side, puts a stop to that advance. You see those hands and that exit kick there by the uh, Andrew Robby boys, Afumile Katu. Uh, great, great catch there. Afumile Katu bringing the ball back. Attempting to get over the 50 meter line again. He gets onto the line. Takes the ball to ground. And Western High School still keeps possession of the ball. That is the ball to a point. Atabile Tastile with a beautiful run up. Oh, he passes the ball to Ghana. Tokosa oh, Ghana with, the great, with a great run. A flow to Luther Human. Luther That's Human passes the ball to Jeff. Jeff gets over the try line. Adding more points in Western. In Western High School's favor, onto that, onto that <laughs> scoreboard. <laughs> there is that man, Abu Milikatu, just dabbing me up because of those few bars I just put in. Oh, those beautiful feet by Abu Milikatu, which somehow opened an um, overlap for Western High School to capitalize on on the other side of the field. We're going to see once again a change back to the original kicker and on the looks like side, that man Lamiel Kramer. And looking at the scoreboard, we all clearly see Western High School has doubled up the score of Andrew Robbie. But could they make it more than double through this conversion? We'll have to wait for this man. It's going to be that Lamiel Kramer trying to get those two points, that two-point addition onto the score, making it 50. Um, you can all clearly see who won this game as the scoreboard is slowly counting down in seconds. It says 58 seconds, 40, 45, 44 R seconds. Ref calls it. it goes down. That is time. That is it. Game's over. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lunati Chayingwe. It's been a great pleasure. It's a, it's a great honor bringing to you with my voice the game live today. And thank you all. Um, and my name is Masane Svikakwebe, and it, it has also been my pleasure being the vo second voice for today. And it looks like Western High School has won this game with a doubled up with doubled up points of 48-24. This was a very clear victory. Western High School, some Western High School showed Andrew Robby that they were the better team today. And this was a very beautiful match, and it was very entertaining, very physical, and beautiful hands from both teams.